Hello and welcome to this short video about IIS Smooth Streaming. My name is Mike Ormond and I work at Microsoft Limited in the UK. My email address is just mike.ormond at microsoft.com. You can find my blog at bit.ly slash Mike Ormond and you can find me on Twitter at Mike Ormond. Smooth Streaming is a technology that's all about getting the best possible experience viewing video audio over the web. It uses technology in Silverlight and in IIS media services to ensure that for any particular set of conditions, the maximum possible bitrate and hence the highest quality uh, media is being delivered. So the client dynamically uh, looks at the conditions on the machine, such as uh, CPU utilization and over the, the network, the bandwidth available. And if it detects a significant change, it will shift and request a different bit rate from the, the server. So if the network bandwidth drops off, for example, the client will start to request chunks at the lower bit rate until that network bandwidth returns and then it will switch back to the higher bit rate. And this makes sure that at any possible moment you're always receiving the optimum quality given the current uh, conditions that the system is operating under. What we're going to do in this video is take a look at what it takes to create a video that can be streamed in this fashion and uh, have a look at the, uh, the client that can consume it as well. Now this video is based on an article I wrote for .NET Magazine. And if you want to see the article itself, just go to bit.ly slash smooth str. It will take you straight there. Article looks a little bit like that. And also, if you want to see Smooth Streaming in action before you try anything in this uh, video, then just visit bit.ly slash experience it, and it will take you to the Experience Smooth Streaming page. And here's a video you can play back. And one of the things it lets you do is to adjust the available bandwidth so you can artificially constrain the available bandwidth to see what effect that has on the video that's delivered. And also in the bottom left here, there's a little graph showing you the bit rate that's being requested as you make those changes so as you skip around in the video perhaps or adjust the available bandwidth. Now with all that said let's talk a little bit about what you need to do to get smooth streaming working. To deliver the content you'll need IIS 7 or IIS 7.5 with the media services installed. So that means you're going to be running Windows Vista Service Pack 1, Windows 7 or Windows Server 2008. To create the video itself, you need Expression Encoder 3 with IIS Smooth Streaming. Now, I need to be clear here, the demonstration, the trial version of Expression Encoder 3 doesn't include the IIS Smooth Streaming. So you need um, the specifically Expression Encoder 3 uh, with IIS Smooth Streaming. You can get that uh, with Expression Web. You can get it with Expression Studio. Um, but what you can't do is test this out with just the trial version of Expression Encoder 3. You will also need Microsoft Silverlight to see the uh, the end results as a client for uh, smooth streaming. And that can be Silverlight 2 and above, but the current version is 3, so you may as well use Silverlight 3 to see this. Now, if you have IIS installed in your machine already, the first thing you need to do is to install the media services on top of it uh, to ensure that we get that, enable that smooth streaming experience. And the easiest way to get and enable um, the smooth streaming extension on IIS is to use the web platform installer. And actually the link is down here to install the web um, platform installer. If you go to bit.ly slash web underscore pi it will take you to the download page. I have web platform installer already installed so I can just run it up And the web platform installer will then come back with a list of available um, platform components and also applications that I can easily then just install and run on my machine. Now to get the media services, what you need to do is go into options and check the checkbox that says you want to show the media components. I will then go and re-query for the media platform components. Select media platform and in the host and deliver media content section, we can check IIS Media Services 3. Now I already have IIS installed and I have various uh, things configured on there, ASP.NET, etc. If you don't have IIS 
um, configured and installed, the easiest thing to do is to just um, click to select recommended products and that will set up IIS for you and then add the IIS Media Services 3 and click install and read through the license agreement, accept it and that will now download and install IIS Media Services 3 on my server for me. It's also possible to get the um, executables, the uh, installer package installed directly but the web platform installer just makes this experience very very simple. So to create our smooth streaming video we use Expression Encoder 3 with IIS Smooth Streaming and to all intents and purposes we use it in the normal way. We import our video, we transcode it, we generate probably a Silverlight player and that's it. So let's just do exactly that. We import a video. Let's pick this little intro video here because it's nice and short and we're easy for us to transcode. And it's imported that and picked up on all the various different attributes etc. On the right hand side we have our presets and if we expand the encoding for Silverlight preset and then the IIS Smooth Streaming node we will find a selection of Smooth Streaming compatible presets. Now I'm going to pick the VC1 720p preset as this video is 1280 by 720 that sort of makes sense. Apply that and that sets up that preset for this video. Now there are a host of options that we can tweak at this point. I'm not going to change any of them but if I just expand the video tab um, you'll be able to see some of those options and in particular I want to highlight the different bit rates that we are encoding at. So this video is going to be transcoded into 3 megabit, 2.1, 1.4, 991, 688, uh, 477, 331 and 230. So eight different bit rates are going to be generated as a result of this one encoding operation. And that what, that's what gives us the flexibility then for the client as conditions change to switch to a different bit rate and request chunks at a different bit rate until the conditions hopefully improve again. So over onto our output tab and here we can select a player template and expression encoder will generate a silverlight player for us. We can select any of these. I'm going to select the smooth streaming graphing player because that has the uh, similar to the experience smooth streaming site. It's got a little chart you can bring up to see things like the frame rate and the bit rate etc. So we'll go for that. So having imported our video, selected our smooth streaming preset, set our template that's us done. Let's encode the video, which should only take a few seconds. And there's the expression development server firing up. There's our default HTML page and there is our smooth streaming video. Now that's all very well. It's currently running on the development server. What we want to do though is just to deploy that to our IIS server that we installed media services on earlier on in this video. So if we just come back to Expression Encoder and open our job folder, here we can see the set of files that was created by Expression Encoder as a result of our encoding. We've got our HTML page that hosts our player. We've got some metadata files about the streams available for smooth streaming. Here are the actual streams themselves. There should be eight of those. We have a Silverlight player in a form of a zap file, and you know, a compressed assembly file. Uh, we have a preview image, we've got some settings from Expression Encoder and then we've got the smooth streaming zap file itself. Now what I'm going to do in terms of a deployment to IIS here is very simplistic. I'm just going to copy all those files over into my www root folder like so. Clearly there are more sophisticated methods of deployment that you could apply. But having done that, we should now be able to say one, one which is my machine name slash default dot html and get that same video coming down now from our IIS server with that media services extension installed. It really is as simple as that to generate and host smooth streaming content and give end users the best possible media experience.